Hi everybody. It's Deb from the Apple Tree with my little assistant, Bubbles. Can you say hi to everybody, Bubbles? Yeah, say hi. Yeah, I like to get into trouble, right? <laughs> okay, today Bubbles and I will be working on the Home Sweet Home or Home Sweet Haunted Home for Halloween. Um, I think it's a super cute transfer and um, it's going to be really easy to create with this one. Um, I'm using one of our larger boards. I believe it's the 12 by 18. Um, and we actually don't offer this board anymore, but we have some with a little bit different frame. Um, so why don't we get started? Okay, Bubbles? All right, let's get started. All right. So, first of all, I'd like to show you this, just in case you want any extra information. I can send it to you in an email, and you can check out what Chaka Tour is all about, and see if it's something that you would like to participate in or just belong to the club or make purchases uh, such as our couture kits <laughs> brain fart <laughs> all right so thank you very much I appreciate it if you do this okay and excuse my red cheeks and nose here. My fibromyalgia is kind of acting up. My chin's red too. <laughs> so what are you going to do? It is what it is. So anyway, this is the one. Isn't it cute? I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing. There you go. So that's going to look really adorable. Um, you could do this one in a bunch of Halloween type colors like purple, which I was going to do, but my purple is a little bit dry and I have to take the time to um, freshen it up. Um, and I'm not going to do that right now. This is our bumblebee. That's a cute one. That Those go together. Those are nice Halloween colors, I think. And this one's honeydew. I think, let me get the right way here. I think those three colors would look pretty cool together for Halloween type projects. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to use white though today because I don't have my colors all set and ready to go. Anyway, I think white really looks nice too. It's just kind of the classic color with the black and white, the black board with the white chalk paste. So let me turn you down here so you can see. And I hope that we can get the whole thing in the frame. I'll have to pull it back a little bit from this angle. It's a little hard to fit the entire thing in the frame here or on the screen. So here is the fuzzing cloth. What I'm gonna do first is remove the transfer from the backing and then I will place it on our on the fussing cloth here just to put a little bit of um, fuzz on the back because the back is tacky which keeps it stable while you're working um, but putting some fuzz on it will allow us to um, take it off a bit easier so it doesn't adhere quite so hard so let's do that first. I can't wait to make this one. It's going to be so cute. Now, I'll turn it around here. I am going to pull some things out of the way here. I don't want it to fold together like this because guess what's going to happen? 
it's going to stick together and it's going to be a pain in the butt to get it apart. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Perfect. And back. Find my marker here. I'll write on the back side of the transfer. Um, I'll just put sweet haunted house. That way I remember that this backer goes with this transfer, plus it also will let me know that this is the back side of the backing sheet. I don't know if you can see that this is just a flat, like paper, but then you turn it around and you see how shiny that is. That's the side that you want the transfer on because it won't stick to this. If you put it on the back, you're going to be peeling up paper the next time you go to use it. So right on the back of your transfer sheet. All right. Put that to the side. And... Shoot, shoot, shoot. Gently pull it apart. Now, if you put it in the water, that does help get it apart a little easier. about this so I think I jinxed myself <laughs> kind of stuff doesn't happen when you're just doing it on your own but when you're on a live <laughs> that's when this happens there we go I hate pulling it on the side on the corners like this because it's gonna stretch it out but I'm trying to be very gentle about it Yay, I got it apart. Woohoo! That was a close one. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, the tacky side on our fussing cloth. Now we're wanting to dry it off. We don't want to use it wet. And number two, to put a little bit of fuzz on the back. wet I'm gonna just try to uh, quickly dry it here hi Lisa thanks for coming on
just going to dry the back too real quick. not to do fold it in half again all right and then we will put it on the center of the board all right bubbles what are you doing uh-oh one today so that's not so bad <laughs> only one butt call today <laughs> so just rub this on the surface to make sure it gets nice and uh, tight down there and you mostly want to rub where the silk screen is and get the bubbles out Otherwise, your paste will sneak under the silk screen, and then it'll kind of... I've got a little piece of something there. Let's see if I should take that off. Where is it? A little piece of dried paste. You can always take your squeegee and just kind of rub it to make sure it's down nice and tight. Okay, that's good. All right, and I'm going to be using the white paste. This is the, I got the extra large because I tend to go through this one a lot quicker than a lot of the colors. So here we go, we put some paste on our squeegee, so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And this one's going to need quite a bit, so I think I'm just going to drop some on the board here to get started. It's always okay to put on a little more than you may need because you can go back and just scrape it up, put it back in your jar, and you haven't wasted any of your paste. So now, if you guys can see me here, you just pull the paste down where the silk screen is. more than you need it makes it a little bit easier for it to just glide across your silk screen there we go so we've got it all covered now we'll just scrape up the excess put it put it back in the jar You have to move kind of quickly, but 
these because um, the chalk paste dries fairly quickly so you have a little bit of time to work with it but you can't spend like 10 minutes on it because it'll dry and then when you pull up the transfer um, all the paste will come up with it because it's dried inside the silk screen Let's peel to reveal here we go you guys are gonna love this Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I love it in the white. I don't know if you see that I smeared a little bit in the corner here. Other way. A little bit of paste there. You just wipe that up with a damp cloth. And even after it dries, you know, you can still wipe it up. I'll just take a Nice towelette here. I don't know if you can see me. I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. Just wipe it up and there it is. It's all gone. That boo boo never happened. <laughs> Keep it right there, too. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. And it didn't take me any time at all, did it? The time goes, you know, for these projects, when you do them in one color like this, they go very, very fast. And now think about, say, if you're a hobbyist and you make different um, crafts for craft fairs and such. These transfers are reusable up to about 10 times, depending on how well you take care of them. But you could whip out a bunch of these, at least 10, and take them to the craft fair with you. And you know that these are going to sell because look at how darn cute they are. Let's see if you can see like the detail in it. The little spider. Isn't that cute? And that's what I love about... Now this gap here... Mm, let's go this way. That's intentional. That was built into the transfer because that's what sets transfers these transfers apart from just regular stencils it gives it a lot of great detail all right so i hope you enjoyed this live video today thank you for coming on and joining me i appreciate it if you have any questions type them down below and i'll answer them for you or if you want some info you know what to do I showed you that at the beginning of this video all right everybody I hope you have a great rest of your evening and we will talk to you soon hi Jolene I see you jumped on <laughs> thank you for joining me as well all right ladies I'll let you go bye